today I'm going to review the Trader Joe's almond croissants. They come frozen and then you uh, let them rise overnight and then bake them fresh uh, the next morning. Uh, it needs about nine hours of uh, rising time. So let's go ahead and see how this whole thing works and then um, we'll taste it and then I'll let you know what I think. So in the one box, it, there's four almond croissants. So I'm going to put this on my baking tray, let it uh, rise overnight, and then tomorrow morning we'll uh, bake these croissants. Okay, it's the next morning, and as you can see, they have risen. So our almond croissants have risen beautifully. I'm preheating the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to go ahead and bake these babies. Now these croissants, unlike the chocolate croissants, do not require an egg wash. So we're just baking as is. And once the oven is hot, we're going to bake it for about 20 to 25 minutes until they're dark golden brown. They should not be lightly brown because then it's not cooked. So uh, the croissants, you definitely want them to crackle when you um, bite into it and they should be quite crispy. Okay, so looking at this after 23 minutes, the croissant itself looks really good, but the almonds are burnt. So I just don't think you can bake the croissant as they're saying to a dark golden brown without burning the almonds. So, and then I see that some of the filling has seeped out. So let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Okay, so first bite, the croissant is very nice and crispy. It crackles when you bite into it. Um, and here's the filling inside. You can see there's an almond filling, a layer of almond filling. It's really delicious. It's not that sweet, um, so that's good. Um, I was kind of skeptical at first seeing the burnt almonds, but uh, the croissant itself is really good. So ignore the burnt almonds. This is definitely uh, worth buying. It tastes just bakery fresh. So this with a nice cup of coffee is a perfect uh, morning breakfast.